Hi there folks, welcome to another episode of Ping The Last. Um, some exciting racing this weekend, obviously boys. Uh, we've got the Cheltenham Trials, mm. fantastic. Uh, we've got racing from Doncaster, Fairy House, New Topsita, and then we've also got some flats from Chelmsford and Lingfield, which I believe we'll have a couple of tips from you, for you from uh, Jacob on that one. Yeah. Not, not for us, no. um, not unless we have to. <laughs> no, we are jumpers, uh, jumpers only. Uh, yep, yeah, jumpers are goalposts. <laughs> right, so. um, right, okay, so we'll start with you then this week, Neil. Um, Torpedo. Yes. Um, yes, Torpedo for Nigel Twiston Davis and I hope Daryl Jacob, but we'll see because we were discussing yes, this just now. That, yeah. uh, runs in the JCB trial. Um, uh, their first race at Cheltenham. Mm. Sorry, I was just checking the time. So 12.34, the first race at Cheltenham. Um, again, a little bit of an unknown uh, entity this horse for me, but uh, as one is last two under rules, plus a decent win over in France as mm -hmm. well. My only question mark would be with all youngsters is what they've beaten so far. Yeah. Like, as the saying goes, you can only beat what's yeah, put in front of you. Yeah, not done anything wrong yet. No, so, they're isn't they, for a couple they of are, They races. are, so again, these these are the sort of races where we find out just how good they are or potentially going to, to be. Yeah. Uh, Nigel obviously thinks an awful lot of him mm. uh, to, to rent him in the race. Um, got the Henderson horse, horse that he's got to beat, as we said just now, which mm. Daryl Jacob has been riding as well, um, who got beat by Quell Destin last time out, so no shame in that no, there whatsoever. No, no. Um, but as I said, a little bit of a, mm. an enigma, as you say. Mm. We'll find out Saturday just now who <coughs> he, uh, he really is. But um, as I say, he's done nothing wrong so far. What's the price yeah. at the moment? On that you can get nine to four for Torpedo. Okay. Uh, second favourite, Ajali is actually seven to four. I think that'll mm. probably get a little bit closer come the weekend, I mm. could be wrong. But there are others in there. You've got our power for Alan King as well. Um, Nelson River for Tony Carroll was two from two as well. So uh, yeah, there's a few in there of a shout. I am talking okay, it up yeah. as a two horse race, so I could be wrong, but mm. this is uh, this is the one yeah. I'm going for. As so. you say, it'd be a bit of a tell when you find out who's who's booked for what ride, basically. Mm. That would be so. the interesting bit. So yeah. um, Daryl, if you're listening, <laughs> yeah, what are the chances? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let us know, mate. Stay on the bottom, yeah. Bit of bodies. yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Well, uh, we'll say you know, we'll say like a bit of an unknown entity, so console. You know, give you too much on that really, yeah. other than the basic facts here. Yeah. Just kind of um, put your rent on it. Go yeah. On. Um, so your second choice, banging form, Pacey Park. Yeah, again, um, this probably won't be a surprise to, to most people's uh, currently uh, joint favourites at the moment with uh, with Midnight Shadow for Sue Smith as well. Um, but again, as progressive as you, as you like, one is last three, two of which were, were great ones, mm -hmm. um, including when he burst on the scene um, at Haydock when they mm -hmm. made the first assignment back in the third. Yeah. We were chasing a, a three-timer that day, um, and it was one of the strangest races. We were sort of messaging oh, as it was going. Yeah. Going over the last, we had it down as a two-horse race, and the first assignment was going to absolutely bolt up, and then all of a sudden, Aidan yeah. Coleman's just produced himself from nowhere um, and just done them all on the outside, and um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah well, well, I'm surely yeah. looking at it as well, from Pacey Park's point of view, of the trial, mm. He's got to be the main threat, or at least our main threat, talking from Ireland and England. Sort of yeah. Uh, against Penn Hill, who we know is going straight to the status. Which that's stage. got to surely be the route mm. for um, a three miler like Paisley Park. Yeah. Is, is Penn Hill. Paisley Park does have an, in, uh, an entry in the status already, so uh, that is yeah. clearly the. Um, yeah, it does the, seem to be the choice, the, the chosen route. Sort exactly. Of thing, yeah. yeah, again, that's clearly yeah. the intention. And I'm looking at where, you know, his last run out at Ascot, where he won his, uh, a game. Uh, decent odds of eight to one. He's been the likes of Top Notch in there, uh, West Approach again, Soul Emotion, um, and Call Me Lord, who obviously mm. I've been very sweet on since mm. we started filming. So, yeah. um, decent types that uh, that he's beaten, as I say, three from three, two of which were, were grade ones. The first of which obviously was Emma Lavelle's and um, Aiden Coleman's first grade one, so yeah. mm. fantastic for them. Yeah. Um, and they've backed that up. The, you know, the form's mm. obviously been Frank, so. As I said, joint favourites with Midnight Shadow at the moment, uh, four to one is a decent price, but um, I'm, yeah. I'm happy with yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm you can't really can't really disagree that. looking at the card. He, he, he's got the form and yep. um, there's no reason to doubt him, really. No, no very much so. There's some mm. decent uh, decent mm. ones in there. Again, Black Off, who's going back hurdling mm -hmm. as well, just for people that are sweet on that. I know you are, Glenn, so, um, you know, ones yeah. to look out for. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay then, Sean, we'll move on to you. Yep. Um, now, you was going to go for Champ. I was going to go for Champ. We've just seen, or it looks like, mm. going on a couple of the websites mm. that he's probably going to skip skip the trials. Not sure why yet. It, it, yeah. From I mean, when I saw this morning, we're still in the betting. successful runs recently, isn't he? Very so good. maybe they just think, mm, yeah. maybe there's not the need there. But There could poss be a possibility, being it's McManus, he's a very mm. shrewd mm. owner. He knows where to send his horses. Yeah. Let's be honest with you. And with Henderson driving the 
driving force at the moment, they must know some. So yeah. if, if they're skipping it for a reason and it needs to go straight to the festival... Well, we, we mentioned, didn't we, last week, the amount yep. of novices that Henderson's yeah. got at his disposal, two of which so are at the weekend. It, it so could be a case of he's aiming for yeah. that or mm-hmm. might even bypass terrible mm-hmm. to the other hand yeah. entry, yeah. which he's done in the past yeah. with a few. So, yeah. so who did you go for instead then? Holstone was okay. my first one. Yep. Sticking with a two-tone green, I believe in the Paisley Park race. Yep. Mm. I'm not going on current form as such because I believe he was beaten by Midnight Shadow. Not so long ago. Yes. Well, this yeah, yeah, beginning yeah. of this yeah, year, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. New Year's Day, I believe. Um, so there is that table to turn on that horse as well as Paisley mm. Park in the race. His form at Cheltenham is impressive. Now, he'll go off eight to one, so it's more of an each way double I'm aiming for on, on my two. Mm. Um, he has always gone the stage route. Okay, not one. But then again, he's come up against the Penhill twice, who yeah. he can go straight to the festival and we've seen him win. Yeah. So it looks like they're going to do it again. Mm. Um, I've gone for more of a older head in some respect of knowing the course. Uh, it runs there a hell of a lot. If you look at a lot mm. of his races, I think over the last three years or two years, he's been there seven, eight times. Um, he stays into mm. the placings. Okay. Not always with the win. Mm. But, but eight to one, you take that. But eight to yeah, one exactly. on a horse yeah, of that, that where you you've, know, got, so. you've got a couple mm. of horses in there that he's running against who are better odds, so to speak, mm. more favourable odds, but unexposed at the track mm. um, and you've seen with Cheltenham before yeah, that exactly. a lot of the experienced yeah. horses they yeah. know that track it's a deadly yeah. course to go around and we all know that they can get found out the exactly moment. so yeah. that's for, for me on mm. that I, I do believe more on a value side of things he can yeah. run into the places I yeah, believe I mean, he's, comfortably. he's got to be a sensible bet yeah. for, for me I would, personally. Say that, I would say that that is a sensible bet yeah. given yeah. Cheltenham form yeah. Yeah. yeah given the form I'm going yeah. purely on the Cheltenham yeah. form on that yeah. one and he's very capable and who he's He's yeah. finished behind in the past, you know, mm. Penny and stuff like that, not been far behind, and everyone knows how good that one is. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm. So obviously, without Chan, then you obviously have to look for another one. Mm-hmm. I've stuck with Valtor from last sorry, week. Yeah. We don't know why there was pulled last week. There's obviously good reason. It could be ground. I, I, me, mm. personally, I'm not too sure. Yeah. You know, we don't look into it like everybody else does. We're just the fans. Mm. Um, but there was, there must be a reason why. Yeah. If they've got any hope of him having an actual festival run, this has got to be his chance in the Cotswolds. Mm. Small field, I believe, this year. I think it's about six or seven. Yeah, it's not the biggest of them. Um, Throwed on at the top, of, yeah. Yeah. On the top yeah. of the cards. Yeah. Who we would imagine, considering Valtor is a very unexposed horse, especially mm. with the hill involved. Now, he mm. did Ron at Ascot. Yeah. Completely different kettle of fish. Mm. Uh, in many respects, the course runs the other way. Mm. There's the hill. Mm. But just because he's unexposed doesn't mean he's not capable. He, he was going away from these horses at heavy, on heavy ground at Ascot. Mm. I believe if he does run, again, I don't know mm. if he will, um, he's got a big mountain to climb against the likes of Elegant Escapes in there. Yeah, mm. yeah, throw it on as a safe Throw it on as a favourite. But moment, again, so. I believe for Valtor, the, the odds are bouncing somewhere between 9 to one, uh, nine to 2 mm. and 8 to 1 in places. Mm. So again... I almost me, went for Elegant Escape one mm. of mine. I didn't in the end, but... Mm. Um, so again, on, on that basis there. alone, yeah. I think you know, you're looking at two 8 to 1s, an unexposed and a... A worldly head. Yeah, I think they could produce something quite decent there for you if you're looking for a you know each way value. A, an each way value for me this week to be honest with you. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going two ton green heavy. Nice to see Manila Rocco potentially out again. Yes. Yeah, well after a long way off as well. Yeah, so be good. Yeah. Soon. Um, and of course, Black Hawk as well, Jura Run, so mm-hmm. uh, looks like a decent card. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, some decent horses. Yeah, that's what, that caught my eyes. I was scrolling down for your list, you know. Mm-hmm. They're the names you want to start seeing yeah. this time of year. And I almost yeah. went for Valid at the Scape, but no, mm-hmm. um, I just decided to just slight change of direction and went for a couple of others. Um, now myself, um, I got sort of caught out as well by a uh, couple of non-runners. Couple of non-runners. Um, I went for Amy Tom, Warren Graytrix, uh, uh, trainer of my best friend, La Vargoire. Um, who um, I believe is running over in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, she, she is. is. She's not she is, yeah. a week or so. so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that one sort of threw me a curveball. So um, I actually changed to um, Glenn Forza, who's mm. been in some very good form, couple of seconds, couple of firsts. Uh, you know, Mick Shannon doesn't have too many big sort of named horses, no. does he? Really, awesome. one of the smaller yards. No offence to him, obviously, no. but um, yeah, he's sort of competing with it, with you know, with the likes of Henderson and, and Mullins and stuff. You know mm. what I mean? But um, yeah, His you know, what I mean? pretty good. He's and got some good form. You know, I mean, it's one over. It's come second over two mile four, uh, second over two mile one, first over two mile seven, and first over two mile four. So. Um, yeah, lots to like about it. 
Mm. Well, this horse bought, beat Glen Rocco, mm. who yeah. bolted up yeah. uh, not too long ago. And when I say bolted, I mean bolted hands mm. and heels. So, um, well, beat him quite comfortably, didn't it? Three legs, <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, yeah. as well. So his form. Was that a Kemp That was a Kemp Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. his form is very good going yeah. into that. Yeah. In, in fairness, if you're looking on that. Is there prices out on that Glen Force at the moment? Do we know? No, no, no. I don't think when I look, it wasn't any at the time. That's fine. But again, once we get hold of them, we will be on Twitter and let you know what's happening. So that, that was my first choice. Uh, my second choice was a Giggins Town uh, horse uh, mm-hmm. called Eclair de Balfour. Um, mm-hmm. It's uh, got some impressive form again. It's gone first, first, third, third, second, third, mm-hmm. uh, going back a bit. Um, it's in the steel plate. Um, and um, yeah, it's one over two mile one, um, one, over, one at two miles by five lengths. Um, and then at Fairy House, he's one over two miles uh, on heavy. Uh, uh, heavy ground and sort of heavy in places, um, but um, coming over two from home, he mm. was down by about probably about a length. Well, no, probably about half a length. If mm. I'm honest. And um, Robbie Power was on the other horse, mm. and the other horse was. Bear me one second. Was uh, uh, envious editor, oh, okay. and um, he, he looked beaten. Mm. He looked beaten, but. Somehow from somewhere, about fifty yards from the line, he got right up and won by a length. Who's jockey? Do it was Kevin Don- uh, Keith Donahue, I think. That was on that on that day, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, just just impressed me with his, you know with the, the sort of grit and determination, mm. uh, which is what you need at Cheltenham, um, especially with the heel and that. Yeah. Um, and I just thought looking at full, um, yeah, you know, bang there on full. First run over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, run at, obviously a lot of tracks over in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Uh, first run over here. Looks like it's supposed to attempt at Cheltenham as well. So a bit like you're saying, you know, a little slight sort of free hit mm. in a way. Um, but um, yeah, just thought, you know, showed, yeah. showed some real good grit and determination in that. In that, not the last race, it's the second to last mm. race, which I think. Oh, was, it says uh, a lot as well, out, yeah. because by the looks of it, Gordon hasn't sent many over mm. no, for no. the trials. Yeah. I mean, we know he's going to send over an army mm. for the festival. Mm. So you know, there might yeah, be something runs, in that. They'll get their runs in our yeah, there'll yeah. Be, there's something in that if he feels that it's worth having yeah. to go at the hill. So, yeah. yeah. I, as I say, you know. Just, as, as we said before, you know, there's not a lot of detail to go on when we're, you know, sort of pre-looking and doing our research for tonight's show. Um, so obviously you have to just sort of, let's say, look at the form and, and, and you know, like I say, see, see where they've run, mm. how they've run and stuff like that. So it's yeah. impressed me that one. Yep. Um, so that, that is um, obviously my two. Uh, we've got um, some tips from uh, Jamie Brownlow. Uh, again, uh, Jamie's um, sent some in, some audio. So let's have a quick listen to what... Uh, Jamie's got to say. Mm-hmm. Hiya, my two horses are uh, looking at on Saturday, and they are great races up and down the country from Cheltenham, Doncaster, Utoxeter, and also in Ireland, uh, Fairy House. But my first horse will be running at the three o'clock in the Matt Bellymore uh, Novice Trial Race, and which is called Brewing Up the Storm. For the newbie run last time out was a very decent run. Finishing fourth place uh, behind of um, the champ getaway chump in Caterson. Uh, two mile, four furlongs should suit him again. Um, it will be his second run um, in in this trip, and I'm sure that the Cheltenham course could suit him, and also the hill will help him uh, on his stamina front um, going up the hill. So I'm hoping for a very good run. And hopefully we'll see him in March. My second horse that I've selected is coming away from Cheltenham. And the horse is called Go Conqueror. Which hopefully he'll be running at the 3.15 at Doncaster in the Skybet Handicap Chase. He was placed second last time, 38 days ago, on the 15th of December. Um, hopefully the ground will help him uh, this time out. He was finishing well until uh, 007 got him to the end of the line, uh, half a length. I'm hoping that he will be at the front of the pack uh, once again, like he did last time. But also, he, I'm sure that he can, can settle from behind and come from there. But I'm hoping for a, a good run. And I'm looking through his, um, his form, and he does like a bit of cutting the ground. So hopefully, Doncaster will have that. Um, even if he can run good and he can run uh, good to soft. So I'm hoping for a good run uh, and I'm hopefully expecting a good 
uh, price for him uh, running on Saturday. But let's hope um, racing will go ahead despite of this uh, this cold snap we're having this week. All right, I'll speak to you soon. So that's uh, Jamie's choice. Um, obviously, first off, he had there brewing up a storm, which is one of Jamie's uh, one to ones watch. to watch. Uh, and, he, and, and to be fair to him, you know, first, first, fourth, first, fourth. So, yeah, you know, okay, you could argue the fourths are not fantastic, but... Again, lost to some um, decent horses. Yeah, lost to some decent horses, yeah. Well, so. um, you know, got, got the full moment of the distance, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. uh, definitely, you know... I'm yep. sort of, you know, I have a guy in for picking that one sort of thing, you know? No, not at all. Um, and then his second one, obviously, there was uh, Go Conquer, Kim Bailey, mm. um, over at Doncaster, so mm. moving away from Cheltenham. Yeah. Um, you know, it really is fresh. Yeah, yeah, a reasonable sort. But another sort. good option, yeah. to be fair. Another reasonable sort of thing, mm. going all right. You know, and a decent race that as well. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. a, a, you know, you look at the form, fifth, eighth, third, second, so not shining light, but certainly looks like he's improving. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, maybe he's just picked one out there, you never know. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, obviously, Jacob, um, mm -hmm. he's around and about again with his uh, all knows moving. where he is, yeah, uh, moving Blow around that boy, yeah, all the time. Um, he's given us a few, obviously, don't forget, you know, check out the link and you can go to his website and see, um, yeah. you know, further details and stuff on these. Um, he's given us a couple here, um. Uh, Benny's Bridge by Fergal O'Brien, which one he seems to like. Mm -hmm. um, as he said, not not the best form in the world at the moment, um, but still, you know, third, second fell, and then fourth. Um, but um, you know, he's a good good uh, second at Chepstow. The second and fourth from that day have gone on to win graded so races. Fong, so yeah, Fong stick, yeah so you know, gives gives backs up his argument a little bit. Um, he also went with um, Paisley Park, uh, which obviously. Agrees with Neil there, uh, but we don't really need to cover that one. Um, he's given us a couple of Nichols horses, which obviously you know, you're a bit of a Nichols fan. On uh, Saturday, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, Breland Dias. Run. Um, he's given us that one. Again, you've got form there, a couple of seconds and a first. Um, uh, what else he's got? He's got, um, you know, I reckon this is the sort of best trip for him, mm -hmm. um, given where he's run. Um, an art masquerade or masquerade, oh, art masquerade, yeah. 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 Um, and uh, again, Nichols again, you know, uh, likes likes a trip, yeah. yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 that's a good field, that. Yeah, good field. Good Prefers field. a better ground. Mm. Obviously, we bad weather at the moment, but we'll, we'll sort of see with that. But mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. again, patchy ish form, you know, a second in there, a seventh, a second in there, and then a blip mm -hmm. but at night. But like I say, we all know it can just sometimes be that, mm. can't it? You know. Saturday racing very very different. Yeah. Yes, very. Uh, but as I say, yeah, you know, follow the link and uh, it, it, it'll probably have lots more there, lots more other choices and, and selections and, mm. and whatnot for you. So yeah, um, that really covers us off, doesn't it? Really, that's that's, indeed. I mean, we got you know great rest to look forward to. That covers everything. Yeah, definitely. Good luck to everyone who's having yeah, a um, Have a little go and um, yeah, hopefully you get some winners. Yeah, fingers crossed. Let us know as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, everyone's got their opinions. It's Absolutely. It's, yeah, it's not. Frank and a lot yeah. of that, it's a lot of opinions from our point of view as yeah. well, and just being fans of the sport, so let us know, yeah. And of course we've got the scarves coming, yeah. so yes. um, that'd be fantastic, we'll, uh, hopefully we'll see them in a, in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get a couple of vids on Twitter and that so you can see them, see what they're like, if you go and bought one, get, get ready to buy one, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we need the money. <laughs> <laughs> cool, see you again next time. Later.